still going to be used for warehousing just kind of as is but the front part's what we kind of like wanted to stop and talk to everyone about so the idea here is like i think this is going to be a truly transformative project for london um me and jeff had the uh, opportunity to come to the press release that was here and also we got like a tour maybe two weeks before and so like it, it's literally going to have everything it's going to be crazy so the concept here is there's going to be like a brewery a silver sax brewery is going to be moving here and they're also going to be manufacturing the beer for Tokomori Brewery Company too and in addition to that there's going to be like three to five restaurants opening it's going to be like an adventure park with like zip lines rope rope climbing courses uh there's going to be like laser tag um trampoline park a large uh, VR park arcade and so they're actually developing an in-house app where it's going to be like literally like going to Disney World you're going to have a bracelet and you're just going to buy everything based off of that bracelet and at the same time you'll be able to track your kids throughout the park so <laughs> you can be at the brewery and still know exactly where your kids are like that they're on the second floor trampoline park it's or they're on the soft course yeah <laughs> and uh, then there's also going to be kind of like a European courtyard like market that's going to go on during the uh afternoons and evenings and eventually there's going to be a hotel and uh, it, it's going to be one of a kind and then once you add it into a few of the other factors that are going on so nothing's been announced but Emco is directly across the street from here and if you notice right before the press release for this came out Emco announced that they're moving out to uh, the east end of London so their property is going to be all available so I, I'd expect to hear something being developed there then we also have McCormick's right which is less than a block away to the east from here as well and there's uh, been different proposals for mixed use uh, residential commercial and light industrial and then finally just over there we have the Western Fair right and the city and Western Fair has been putting a ton of money into the district area and earlier this year was announced that there was going to be uh, a new casino and hotel built there that's expected to bring 700 new jobs and so like just think about that for your renter base right how drastically that's going to change it and then again at the corner of rectory and dundas here which again we're just talking like two three blocks from here there's a proposal going forward that they're expected to break ground in 2018 for two large towers which are going to add 600 more rental apartments to the area so i think like the thing is any one of those projects i named i think is enough to be a catalyst but when you start adding them all up together it's truly going to be transformative for this area for this community and so yeah we've just been trying to hunt deals down in this area non-stop yeah, so ourselves kellen and, and uh, dylan we pretty much knew everybody's uh, dog's name in this area and everything about them so we we went hunting door to door and uh we were talking we were trying to get a few under contract uh especially the one behind you here uh the one right on the corner she was gonna s sell to us and then the press release happened and the cbc interviewed her on her front porch <laughs> and i got the text saying hey jeff did you hear what's happening at kellogg's and i was like no, no i couldn't have nothing uh now what did her friends tell her hey your property's gonna be worth so much more now and all that right so that deal's kind of dead at the moment but feel free to go knock on that door because mr paul mclaughlin here would love to have that property and i know kellen has unless you've dropped it already it's still, it's we have a, we can kind of probably do a creep buy we have a property under contract on that street right now pretty exclusive to your tour that you're hearing about it the, the, for one more day actually and it's a, a house and a vacant lot for 155 Both uh, lots. For yeah, so it's too so, low. So, yeah. Okay, so what does this mean as real estate investors? Yeah, small uh, lot. Yeah, it's probably a teardown. Yeah, uh, unless you want, to like, you it. could maintain it for the next five, ten years if you wanted to, and yeah. then you'd probably be looking to redevelop this space. Yeah, you're it's, selling it or buying? It? It's under. I have it under contract right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's 155. There's a little tiny, like one bedroom house that you could probably rent out to, like just like hold it for a while if you wanted. But uh, it's R2 zoning, and there's two lots side by side. 
and they're oh. quite deep as well. It's right up on York Street on the right there. So, and so yeah, these like literally these three little blocks here, we've put a lot of attention to simply because you're right in between the Western Fair and Kellogg's, and it just seems natural that like think long term the potential Airbnb opportunities once people are paying you know 150 200 dollars a night to stay at the hotel here right your opportunity as potentially Airbnb and out some houses and also just the employment phase one here just for the adventure park is expected to create 18 jobs 18 full-time jobs and 65 part-time jobs but once they actually get the hotel restaurant brewery up and running that's going to create a ton more employment as well yeah. how many rooms is the hotel 140 yeah 140 so think of this like as cruise ship or a yeah. staycation in, in there's office building here too. yeah and so yeah actually like here the right here there's four stories of just office buildings that they're renting out uh, some of the tenants are already locked in but it's still confidential but i think there's going to be some really interesting uh office space tenants here that are also going to bring a lot of vibrancy into the area and community and when they mention i have it under contract that's if anybody clause in that meaning we can shift it over to anybody if it does die we can just go knock on the door again to you know, brought, this, this is was before the news it's released yeah <laughs> so <laughs> some opportunities and so like yeah. again you know like all that being said the way that we got that opportunity the way we almost got that opportunity was just by putting in the word right like we literally between the four of us have knocked on almost every single door in these three blocks right as well as me and Jeff walked up and down Dundas and Florence and spoken to just people around their porches, people that own uh, businesses, all that. Yeah. The hustle. Yeah. The hustle. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, so this is 100 Kellogg's Lane. We called our operation Project 100. So yeah. we were 100% in on 100 Kellogg's Lane. Nothing else mattered, so we skipped showings that day and limo tour yeah. stuff. And we just focused on this to bring it to you guys for the tour. And so like probably the I think best way to ground this is just think of that like Great Wolf Lodge, right? In Niagara Falls, like that's this here, except for instead of a water park, it's an adventure park. Literally, if you were looking to develop on this property, like that's what you want is that type of zoning. And that's everything between here and downtown on Dundas Street. So, and that's why like, I think that's why I own two properties on Dundas and that's probably why you own a similar property, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah. I don't have a lot of money for development. Yeah. So, you know, for all the people that are newer out here, find these deals and bring them to somebody with the money and joint venture with them, right? Or yeah. wholesale it. Yeah, because for example, it. the one property that I bought for the social lab, we ended up paying a $30,000 like wholesale fee for that property, right? So that person literally just for introducing us to the deal and having it tied up, we paid them $30,000 for it. In addition, like I paid $500,000 finders fees already this year as well. Kellen's also paid finders fees. But the nice thing is too, a lot of these Dundas Street properties and adjacent properties, they still cash flow as is. So you can buy the property, sit on it for five years, wait until the area is really starting to Wait until to see. people are like, oh, the factory. Yeah. And then... And so like, again, they're, they're planning to have phase one up and running January 2018. Crazy aggressive That's timeline, but like, yeah. even yeah. if they miss it, it does like they can miss it by six months, and I would still consider it aggressive, right? <laughs> but these guys have the money, skills, and partners to pull it off. Yeah, you'll be you'll be coming here for concerts. Like Bieber will be in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we didn't even touch upon that, but yeah, there's pretty huge music halls, conference centers, and, 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 and yeah, epic. yeah, yeah like, it's it's truly gonna be one of a kind. From Kitchener are gonna come all here all and rent a room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's gonna be like yeah, whatever. Come to London just for this and be busy. The Airbnb yeah. is a good point though. People go to Great Wolf Lodge. Like there's a good chance people go like, here. Yeah.